10 minutes longer flying on energy from carbohydrates means a 2-half kilometer lead. This lead during a sprint race is impossible to overcome. This, of course, is all theory. Pigeons are not horses that run their race around a racetrack. They can't, not yet, be followed. Many things can happen on the way home. An optimal orientation, the release, the wind, the list goes on, all play a role. But, on sprint races of 250 to 300 km, if we can increase the glycogen reserves and increase the amount of blood fats, surely it is worth the effort. From research on the use of carnitin it was discovered that pigeons at about the 400 km mark had a drop in speed because the muscles were tired. The term used in other athletic events, they hit the wall, comes to mind. After a while the birds recovered and could keep flying at a decent tempo. The last kilometers as you can see are the hardest and the speed will gradually decrease. On longer races the fat reserves become much more important fuel supply. Unlike the bike riders taking part in the Tour de France, birds cannot eat or drink all the way, or rather this is what we want to overcome. They cannot replenish their glycogen reserves and become dependent on the reserves stored in their bodies. Besides fuel, the pigeons also need oxygen. Muscles cannot function properly without oxygen. The pigeon has to have sufficient red blood cells, these carry the oxygen to the muscles. Measurements on migratory birds have shown that proteins are also used during migration. Thus, the more difficult the flight, the more proteins are used. You can compare it to your car. If you go to the store to do some shopping, then you will not use your dipstick to see if the oil levels are down. If you hook up your trailer, loaded with all your belongings and drive over the mountains to Switzerland, then the first thing you should do at the end of the day is check the oil. The pigeon must eliminate these used proteins and new protein has to be supplied. We will discuss the sense and nonsense of proteins and legumes in another video.